Angle cutouts are used for many reasons, including to rounding up the angles of a worktop or to manage a cut in a room. There are lots of uses. There are four possible angle cuts, rectangle, bevel, round and ellipse. First of all, select the angle you want to cut out by clicking on it, then in the shape menu, then choose cut out. Firstly, for a rectangle cutout, the first dimension refers to the dimensions before the angle and the second dimension to after the angle. Let's see the result. Here you have a rectangular cutout, very useful for cutting out a worktop to have a post for example. Next, the bevel cutout. Once again, the two dimensions refer to the dimensions before and after the angle. Let's see the result of the modifications. This cutout is often used for drawing a cut-off corner or to manage the angles of a worktop. Let's now take a look at the round cutout. In this case, you need to enter a radius. Here is a visual representation. This function is usually used to cut out the roundups on worktops. Finally, the ellipse cutout. This one allows you to round an angle according to a given number of arcs, i.e. a number of intermediate points. This is the result. This cutout allows you to manage asymmetrical rounding for an example. When you're working on a worktop, we recommend starting with the angle cutouts before altering the segments. Don't hesitate to check out our tutorial about modifying segments.